Hello. Hello. Yes. Are you are you Christian yeah, or a Muslim? So I had I had like a question. Basically, are you a Muslim? So, sir, are you going to do are you a Muslim? in the future? Let's are say you, God willing. Are that, you are you a Muslim? Uh, you know how the Muslims say that Jesus, the the prophet, was mentioned in the Bible, like the Old Testament. Yeah. So, are you going to do videos about that to refute the claims, like how they say the Comforter is referring to their prophet, and how Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen and the prophecies in the Book of Isaiah? Hmm. They talk about the mountaintops of Sela will rejoice. So are you going to do videos on that too? We we future? did we did many time. I mean, the, the, this is like a topic we answer a thousand of time, and there's nothing actually to answer. It's stupid. It's a lie. And yeah. at the same time, you see, the best way to answer the Muslims about that is not to go and explain the Bible. Leave leave the Bible alone. Yeah. The best way to explain it is to go and get them busted from their Quran. The first question you have to ask a Muslim, why Muhammad did not quote for us Isaiah to say my name is there? Mm. You know what I mean? So Yeah, because if he's a prophet of God, he, he has to have knowledge of the previous scriptures, right? Right, not only that, God will tell him yeah. your name is there. I mean, so why we need to wait until the that 1400 years after they discover that Muhammad's name is there, but Muhammad is the last one to know? Right, right. Same time, the Muslim, they have another problem. The Quran says that Allah told uh, uh, Isa and Isa told the people that there is a messenger will come after him and his name is Ahmed, not even Muhammad. Which means yeah. if the name of Muhammad or is going to be appear as Ahmed in chapter 61 verse number 6, it says that Allah, he said to Jesus and Jesus said to, said to his people that there is a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmed. Okay, based on this, the Muslims, if they want to find the name, if they found anything, any story about uh, about uh, Muhammad in the Bible, have to be fit with what is written in the Quran. Right. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Like which mean, example, which mean, which mean, which mean, which mean, Jesus have to say literally that there is a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. As simple as yeah. that. If not they, comforter. If, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not comforter. No, it says Ahmed. The, the verse in the front of us. You know, his name is right, Ahmed. Right. Not even Muhammad. So, if they can't find that, then they, they have a point. Otherwise, all of this is 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 a fiction and, and is stupid, you know. Yeah, like they see in uh, Song of Solomon, right? You obviously have heard, right? Sheikh Ahmed Didad, all these scholars, they say that uh, Muhammad Muhammad Dim or something like that. Muhammad Dim, yeah, Muhammad Dim. Like they say he's mentioned you see or the, something like that. The hypocrisy, the, the stupidity of them of, yeah. of those Abdul, that Didad himself was making fun of the Song of Songs in many debates, calling it the book of porn. Yeah. He was challenging us even to read it for our children if this is not wrong. Suddenly, somebody told him that Muhammad is in that word and so he decided to change and suddenly the Song of Songs became holy. <laughs> they are hypocrite, they are liars. However, like the, the, they the, see that there's incest in the Bible and the Old Testament and all that stuff. Like, incest, they see like a lot. Yeah, incest, incest. First of all, let us say the Bible report a story about incest. What is the problem? What is the problem? Because people they do things and they do commit sin, they commit a crime. As an example, the Bible report a story about David committing sin. So there's a huge difference between God says go and do this and I do that. Right? Right, right. If if now if let us say a Christian prince he did something wrong, what does this have to do with the Christ? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. A stories, the Bible is a book of, of, uh, of books which contain history of man and God, which means man is there. Stories of man is there and God word is there. You can judge me by word of God not by the word of man You can judge me by the word of God which he I, I belong to not the action of a man as an example Did one of the disciples of Jesus betray Jesus? Yeah, Judas, okay, what does this have to do with Jesus? Does that mean Jesus is bad? No, okay, so why uh, so you know when they quote for us as stupid things it's funny same time in Islam uh, yeah, yeah. In, in Islam insist is that is halal if you go to chapter 25 verse number uh, uh, 54 and we spoke about it just yesterday it says mm -hmm. uh, 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 you go to the interpretation it says that if a man he have sexual relationship with his girlfriend which means not from marriage he have the right to have sex with the mother and the daughter for she is not considered as a daughter according to Islam that is incest. That is a direct incest. This is a real insect because now you are teaching that you can have sex with your daughter. In the story of, of Lot, 
two daughters, they, they were afraid that they will not survive and there's no men around them and they want to have babies. So they slept with their father. It's not even Lot he did that. He, they, they made him drunk. Mm -hmm. you know? So if, if they do that, yeah. this is their action. This is not a, a, the teaching of God. This is not even what, uh, what Lot himself he want. And even if Lot himself he did, what is it? What what is the uh, like? Wh where is the bad ethic in there? If this is a man doing something he want to do, and he is bad, is that a bad ethic of Christianity? Is that a bad ethic of of Judaism? Or this is a bad ethic of a man? So they try to find things to make it look like ugly, but the fact yeah. Islam teach everything is ugly. When Muhammad mm -hmm. just yesterday we were debating it with a Muslim. And Muhammad, he slept and he married his own son wife. Isn't it? This is incest. Yeah, I saw that video yesterday. Yeah. Here we go. Muhammad himself doing incest. My daughter-in-law is my daughter. That's why we call it daughter. So how Muhammad, he let his son sleep with his daughter-in-law and then he took her after him. Is that is right. that incest? Not only that, you will see in the Quran that Allah told Muhammad that you go and take her, which means incest in Islam is a teaching of God. Incest in, yeah, in, in, false, the, yeah. incest in the Bible is against God. If mm -hmm. it, if somebody do an action like that, the Bible is being actually this is a proof that the Bible never changed. Because if this yeah. is a shameful thing, why the Jews did not take that story off? Mm -hmm. Like Correct? for example, like you know how for example the uh, the daughters of Adam, right? Yeah, the daughter of Adam, the sons of Adam, they had to, in a way, do incest because there was no other way they had to produce children, right? Right, but but we see, but this is like incest here. It's not. It's not uh, like uh, yeah, it's, it's not the same yeah. because it's not. It's there's no choice. Same time, if you read the story about Adam's uh, uh, children in, in Islam, it's really funny and stupid. According to the Muslims, <laughs> the uh, Adam he have uh, each time his wife she gave birth, she gave birth to a twin, a boy and a, a male and female. So what Adam he do because he's very conservative, so he marry the twin female to the other twin male. All right, and what yeah. happened that Cain and Abel, they have a twin, but what happened that one of them, his sister, she have a cross eyes. So now both of them they are fighting over the women who have no cross eyes, and then they 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 gave a sacrifice to Allah, and Allah told them that the one who I approve his marriage to that girl who have no cross eyes is the one I will take his sacrifice. And then both of them they provide sacrifice. One he, he provide a, a ram, and the other one he provide a, a, a zucchini. Allah he sent the fire to to eat the the, the 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 ram, but not the zucchini. And the guy who the lucky one is the one who married the girl which have no cross eyes. <laughs> this is how stupid yeah. Islam is. Yeah, right. no, um, I, I don't know. Like uh, like I said before, I don't know much about Islam, right? But like I've been looking at your videos, and I'm actually a student. Um, you know. Uh, I'm high school and I have like a huge interest in like Christianity and Islam and so on. Okay. Um, and so I have a lot of uh, Muslims friends, uh, friends too. And they, they question me, right? They say, you know, where did Jesus say I'm God? Where, you know, the, and you know, we talk about the I am right before Abraham was I am right. Not only that, not only that, you see the, if you, if you, if you go in the Quran, if you check the names of Allah, as an example, the Muslim, they say that one of the names of Allah is the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, who can call himself the truth? Ask any Muslim, he will say to you, only God. only God. Okay, Jesus said, I am the truth. Allah is the resurrector. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus say, I am the resurrection and I am the life? Yeah, but CP, why do they, why do Muslims always discredit the Gospel of John? No, it's not about discredit John, it's about discrediting the whole Bible. But you know, they, they, for yeah. them, you see, the Muslim, most of them, they are copy paste. So somebody he discredited John, so they copy. It's not about being being smart or stupid. You know, it's about just copy paste. Nobody even nobody even read the book of John to talk about it. And 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 the most funny, like if you see the debate between this guy and uh, David Wood, he said Muhammad that the book of John, the book of John, is written ninety to ninety five years uh, uh, A.D. Uh, uh, but he forgot that he accept Muhammad is speaking about Jesus six hundred years after Jesus. So he reject. Why he reject the book of John? Because written 95 years after Jesus, according to what he said. But he yeah. accept the book of a man. He never witnessed Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He never heard of Jesus. And even he don't even have the real, right name of Jesus. He called him Isa. <laughs> 600 years after, without, with not even a single witness, without even a single manuscript, without even a exactly. single proof, you know? So 600 yeah. years after, they have no problem with it.
95 years after they have a problem with it so th this is the, the islamic stupid mentality and it's very easy to defeat yeah so like um yes yeah, so like i said i have a lot of uh, muslim friends too right um and you know like i get in discussions with them sometimes like i say okay you know let's talk about our faiths and uh i say you, you know what they say to me they say that oh you know the quran is perfectly preserved it's the complete word of god it's eternal um, and so what do you, what do you say to that? Like, you know, like there, there, there is complications in the Quran, right? You can watch my debate with the guy who we, we spoke about that and you will, you will die laughing. I don't know if you saw it. We have a guy who oh, came no, to I don't debate. Think I've seen that one. Okay. Go back uh, guys. What is the name of the, what is the name of the, the debate with that guy? Anyone remember? I forgot. Um, if somebody can pause the link so he can watch it. Uh, this guy, he you know, he got his profit busted, big deal. Just watch it and laugh we, because we spend the whole two hours talking about the same thing you are talking about. No, not yeah, Abbas, yeah. not Abbas, the guy who called me from the Middle East, the Arab guy, the Arab who said, Christian, are you a Christian prince? I want to get you busted. You remember? Yeah, I, I don't think I seen the full video though. I saw like partially a bit. Yeah, the, uh, I, I will try to find you the, the video, yeah, and you can watch it. Anything else, my friend? Uh, no, that's about it. Um, right. Let us give you. a chance. Let us give a chance to more people to call. And thank you very much for calling. There is a very easy way to find if somebody is a really Christian or not, especially when he talk about Islam. If the Muslim they say to him, "You are a great person. We like you," it means he is a scam. Kabich. If the Muslim they start saying to Christian Prince, which is me, Christian Prince, you are a wonderful person, we love you, it's me, Christian Prince, is gone. Don't ever listen to him. There is no way, no way, a Muslim will say to someone, speaking the truth about Islam, may Allah bless you. Go and see that there, there is a guy, his name, uh, Rabbi to weave a singer, whatever his name. The Muslim they praise him, but he's a Jew. But the Muslim they hate the Jews. So why are they are praising him? Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. It's Isa. Hey, my friend. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm just kind of curious as to why you blocked me. You are blocked. Yeah, you blocked me. I have to call from another account to get to you. I don't know. Maybe you are calling, like, became annoying or something. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Yeah, I know how the truth can be annoying, you know. Ah, the truth. Okay, show us the truth. Okay, go truth. ahead. Show us the truth. Go ahead. Okay, so the hadith you just you just showed. So tell us, is it forbidden for a prophet or messenger to wage war? Well, if the war is about you know something legitimate, not about women and having sex with women, then it is legitimate. Yeah. If about if about somebody attacking you and you want to defend yourself, yeah. But Muhammad, he said, go and attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. I didn't see that part. Where is that at? Do you want to see it? But I want to see that. You have been Muslim for about four years. I never saw that part. You are a Muslim for four years. You never saw that part. I sure didn't, and I'm still waiting for the answer to if he if Muhammad was not the last messenger, then who was? With proof from the Bible, please. Muhammad is the last messenger. First of all, to say Muhammad is the last messenger, my friend, you have to prove that he is a messenger. Was he? Of course he was. How? So if, prove if, to me. Hold, hold on. Let, let, let us go one by one. Let us go one. Let us go one by one. Let us go one by one. Hold on. Hold on. You said you said you want me to show you where Muhammad. He said attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. Correct. Sure. Okay. I will show you in a second. Hold on. And while you find it, please tell us who was the last messenger. The last messenger? God, he sent whatever he wish, he wished to send. You can ask God about that. So you don't know who the last messenger was? No, I do not know. But I know that we have uh, we have messengers sent by Jesus, and they have the right to teach, and they have the authority of Jesus. And the Quran so confirmed said, that. The Quran, so the Quran, the Quran confirmed that. Read with me. This is in the screen in front of you. This is Tafsir at Tabari, and we can show it to you in the main Tafsir. You're a prophet, he said, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. 
This is Tafsir al Tabari, variant number 14, page number, four, uh, page number uh, 287. Read carefully with me. He says, uh, Do you see the screen with me? Yep. All right. Uh, let us see. عن مجاهد قالوا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اغزوا تغنبوا بنات الأصفر يعني نساء الروم the, the, the مجاهد he said that the prophet said attack the Roman so you, get, you can get the blondie women and their women of the okay, Roman now, what hadith is that from? this is hadith number 16786 who collected it? Uh, none of my, my business. It says Ibn, Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. My friend, don't don't play garbage. Don't play garbage. You you check it out. You check it out. You check it out. You never heard of it before. You said you never heard it before. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says in the front of you. This is according Hadathani Hajjaj and Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. Oh, those are companion. So they said the Prophet he said though, and this is why the, the hadith here is speaking about the verse in the Quran. That the Quran says, A man he said to Muhammad, Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Tempt me with what? Tempt me with women. Yeah, that's what the man said to the prophet, not what the prophet said to him. But this is the story behind the story. This is behind the story. This is behind. This is this is behind the story. This is why the Muslims explain to us what is the reason for this verse to come down. What is your comment? So you just proved that you're a liar because you did not bring me a strong hadith. How you know it's a, how you know it's not a strong you idiot. You didn't even tell me how you know strong. how you know it's not strong how you come to the conclusion if you never heard of it before I just gave you the hadith a second ago and now you know it is not strong but you did not tell me who collected it that's it why says it says in the front of you are you a donkey I just say to you I just say to you Hadathani Hajjaj donkey listen donkey listen donkey I said I say to you I say to you it's in the front of your eyes Hadathani Hajjaj Hadathani Hajjaj and Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. Do you see who reported the, the hadith? What is the, I told how many times I taught you before. So, so now, listen, listen. Are you saying to me, are you saying to me that you Muslims are a bunch of liars and you are lying about your prophet? No, I'm, I'm telling you, you're a liar because you did not bring I showed you the hadith in the front of you. You don't even know how to read it. Do you know, do you know even how to read it? You don't even know how to read it. You are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Now answer. Now answer. Listen, in front of everybody, I challenge you to show me that this hadith is weak. Go ahead. I'm listening. The press upon you to show me the hadith is strong. You don't even know who the hadith is. I just showed you. You see, it doesn't say there. As long it doesn't say Abdul, as long it doesn't say it is it is weak, it's mean it is a strong. Abdul, as long it doesn't say, it doesn't say, that's mean it is a strong. This is why it doesn't say anything about it except it is reported you see the commenter this is your scholar he did not say this hadith is garbage this hadith is wrong this hadith is bad he just reported the hadith for it's true he's trying to explain to you the verse now are you saying that your scholars are a bunch of liars Listen, i caught you if you hang up on me now everyone knows Abdul, you know, everybody is laughing at you about. hang up on you who are you you are no one you don't even know how to what, what i'm showing in the screen do you know do you know what i'm showing you in the screen you are the same as muhammad you do not know the difference between a donkey and a horse can you read what I showed you? Can you read what I showed you? How you know? How you know that this is weak hadith? Ex explain to me, a donkey. How you how you explain to me? How you explain to me that this is wrong? Explain to me. Go ahead. How you find out a second ago you never heard it before? Show me. Okay. Show. Okay. Show me how this hadith is weak. The hadith have ratings. They're either strong, weak. Or fabricated, you didn't show me what's what the hadith is. I showed you it's in front of you. Hadith number one six seven eight six. Bukhari, or okay, let me ask you one, one by one. Abdul Al Bukhari is a collection of hadith. Are you a donkey or a stupid? I, 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 no, I think you're a donkey because you're not telling me. Is it Bukhari? <laughs> yes or no? We have to go down lines because you won't. Uh, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Let us do this. Let us let us do this. Let us do let us do this, Abdul. Let us do let us do this. Let us. Do this. Let us do you see why I hang up on you? Because you are a kid. You are not a, not a man. Now let us do it uh, do it professional way. Can you prove to me that this hadith is wrong? It's upon you to bring me the hadith. I gave you the hadith. You said I am no. I'm not the one who said it's wrong. You have to prove it now. I am the one who brought you the hadith. You have to prove it to me. It's wrong. Go ahead. I'm not one of your followers. What? You are not. Made the accusation. Very simple. I made an accusation. I gave the proof. Now you you say you are the one who made the accusation. It's weak. Abdul, shut up. Get lost. You are a stupid donkey. Shut up.
go and post it in YouTube so everybody will laugh at you. This is who is your prophet. You cannot prove that I'm wrong. Coward. When I say to you, this is the hadith, then you say to me, okay, I'm going to show you it's wrong. It is you who claim it's wrong. So it is you who prove it is wrong. Don't call me, please. Hold on. I want to give you 10 minutes to call me back. Did you find the reference? Okay, this is what you always do. Did you, you find the reference? Up, are you going are you going to prove it wrong or not? That's upon you to prove that's that's wrong. You see, not. everybody is laughing at you because I am not the one who said it's wrong. One the one who say it's wrong, he have to prove it wrong. No, that's opposite. I don't know it's the opposite. Talking. You are a donkey. Don't call me again. You are a kid. Let your mom call me. Let your mom call me. Or let <laughs> let your let your mom call me. I want somebody who have a courage and knowledge. You are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Now let. Okay, hold on, hold on, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so now, now explain to me. I want you to give me the interpretation for this verse. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Listen. You can't bring me the proof. You Abdul, Abdul, the proof. Abdul, get me busted. Give me the interpretation for this verse. Abdul, donkey, donkey, give me the interpretation for this verse. Can you? Can you give me? Can you give me the interpretation? Uh, 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 just uh, no, I'm not listening. Can you give me interpretation for this verse? What's the verse? The verse in the front of us. You don't even know what verse we are talking about, don't you? What's the verse in the Quran? You don't know even what verse I'm talking about. Guys, look at this. This this donkey. He do not know even what the verse I'm showing him in the screen. And I'm so hurt. You call me a donkey because okay. you are a donkey. Otherwise, okay. how how you answer me without We're knowing even we are talking about what? How you answer me without knowing we are talking about what is the verse we are talking about? You know, you know what what is the verse we are talking about? Do you know what this belief means? <laughs> Get lost. Go. You don't even know the verse I'm talking about. Anything you show them right away, they say it's weak. You are telling us that your Islam is garbage. You are telling us that you Muslims, you have a lot of garbage about Islam. So how we can learn about Islam from garbage people like you? What you are trying to say to me that we Muslims, we did make a lot of lies about Muhammad. And yet, yet nobody, my friend, don't call me now, the, the guy who's calling. I mean, what's wrong with you guys? Let's just finish the topic. When you say to me that this hadith is weak and you just confirm that you never heard of it before, that is a proof that because you go in the stage of denial, you've been shocked. You are the one who asked me, can a prophet of God wage war? I said, well, if he is a prophet of God and he have a legitimate reason, yeah, he can go for war. Why not? I can go with war with, with, with Islam. To defend Jerusalem to take it back if I'm a prophet and someone like Muhammad a bit of file attacking my land I have the right to defend myself it's not the Roman who attacked Muhammad it's Muhammad who attacked the Roman and he's just a fight and he's trying to seduce his men by going and attacking by getting the blondie girls that is your prophet And look at this tactic. Prove to me this is hadith is strong. You never heard this hadith before. A second ago, you never heard it before. And now you don't even know the verse I'm talking about. <laughs> How you are answering me? How you are sure when you do not even know? He, like I thought his guy, he know what he's talking about. And then he said to me, what verse you are talking about? <laughs> what verse? What verse? Do you know even the verse? You don't know. Uh, and you Christians, you ask me to be patient. The second the Muslim he tried to play games with you, get rid of him. Hello. Hello, patient. How are you? I'm all right. Did you get me an answer for what we said? No, no, uh, it's another person. I know, but do, what do you think about what we are saying? The, you're online and this hadith is, do you know why? Sorry? The guy that narrated this hadith he is a mujahid. Mujahid never met uh, the Prophet Muhammad. 
Mujahid is never what? Mujahid never met Muhammad. Never met Muhammad? Yes. Okay, so how he is reporting what Muhammad said? He's reporting from Ibn Juraj, correct? This is, is Ibn Juraj. Is Ibn Who is Ibn Juraj? Who is Ibn Juraj? Who is Ibn Juraj? Is are those our companion? Who is Ibn Juraj? Who is who is Hajjaj? Who is Al Hussein? Who is the last one in the, in the, in the, in the my friend? My the, friend. First of all, first of all, first of all, this is this is a story reported by many people, not only by this person, Mujahid. As Show you see, it says, it says, and Mujahid, قالوا, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, this is an Mujahid from who? Ibn Juraj, yes, Ibn Juraj yes, reported Mujahid, from Hajjaj. Okay, you are saying to me, Mujahid, Mujahid, he never met Muhammad, correct? Yes. Okay, so where Mujahid gets from? This is a weak hadith. This is why he never, this is, it's, it's a hadith more sad. Mm. It's a fabricated hadith. Yeah, but I, I want to ask you your knowledge about Mujahid is coming from where? Huh? Who, uh, where your knowledge is coming from? From when you say Mujahid, who, who told you about Mujahid? I, I, I see, I, I see uh, one scholar in the YouTube that uh, say that he show in uh, in uh, in the book that. Uh, Studied the uh, the the this, uh, this, the the uh, the the person that narrates uh, the hadith about the prophet. Each one he has uh, a biography, and we know he, mm. who, who, who was born and we did he meet the prophet or not, and he lied and not. And Mujahid, the the the, the time that the, uh, mm. he never met Muhammad. He is born. Mm. Okay. After, what what about what after, uh, what about okay what okay what about Ibn Wahab? حدثني يونس قال أخبرنا Ibn Wahab قال Ibn Zaid قال Ibn Zaid. What about Ibn Zaid? You see, it doesn't matter now who I report to you. You will say to me, I don't agree with them. All of them, those are who are who is Ibn Zaid. What is the excuse now? If if he just as you see, as you see, as you, as you see, as you see. Okay. قال هو رجل من المنافقين يقال له جد بن قيس. Who is the one reporting the story? قال ابن زيد. قال ابن زيد. Okay. Now, if you Muslims have a problem with your with your scholars, if you Muslims have a problem with your scholars, why your scholars did not get busted, and why you Muslims did not make a revolution against why those books saying those stories if they are false? My friend, this is not only in Tabari. Who, who said? Who said? Okay, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me, a Tabari is wrong. So if we find it in different book, is that fine for you? Is that will work? Show me this. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we find it for you, if we hold on, hold on, a Tabari, a Tabari is a, a historian. You said right? Okay. If, hold on, wait, wait. So, if we show the story from different books, is it accepted by you? Bukhari and Muslim. This is the authentic. Only the authentic. Okay, okay. Let us go to the authentic books. Then you said, you said show only Bukhari. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you said only Bukhari is authentic for you. So now, whatever we show you from Bukhari, you will accept. Show me the thing. Uh... If no, no, I want you to confirm just to show the hypocrisy of Muslims. I want you to say loud and clear anything you show me from Bukhari, you accept. Show me. No, don't say me, show me. I want you to confirm yes, yes. anything from Sahih Muslim, yes, anything yes. from Bukhari, I yes. accept. Okay, so yes. if I show you that your prophet yes. he said the stupid things in Al Bukhari, you will accept. Now you change the topic. No, you see, here we go. Idea. No, no, no. I want to show the hypocrisy because you are trying to change the topic because you are trying to say, show me no. in Bukhari. No, no, no. Why, why you want me to show you from Al Bukhari? What is the purpose of Al Bukhari? The Al Bukhari is to prove that you are, you are. I, I am showing everybody. I am showing everybody that you are, a, you are a hypocrite and you will not accept what I will show you from Al Bukhari. Otherwise, the second I say to you, if you're a prophet, say something bad in Al Bukhari. Do you accept it? You said no. 
It's a bad... No, no, no. I, 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 I'm saying to you, if your prophet said something crazy, stupid in Al-Bukhari, do you accept it? Okay, I, w I want to ask you something. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Let us stuck with Al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. If you're a prophet, he said something stupid and humiliating and ugly and disgusting in Al-Bukhari. Do you accept it or not? Okay, before, before you do it, can I ask, I ask you one, one something? <laughs> okay, go ahead. When you, when you say something is, is stupid and this is stupid, according to who? According to your logic? According to everybody, we will see. You will be the judge, no, even you, even no, you. you e even, even you, even you, even you, no you, problem. Yes. My, my friend. I will accept it, then what? My friend, my friend, this my friend. You, you can... You you can be you can be the judge you can be you can be the judge no problem you can be the judge you can be the judge why why you are worried about Al Bukhari Al Bukhari a second ago it was your source yes I have no problem go okay let us read but again it is subjective to say this is stupid this is good it is it is up up to you to decide who is it stupid or not no problem. Let us show you. Because the, the judge is subjection reference. Okay, okay, hold on. Let us, uh, everybody will read with us and we will see in a second what will happen. <clears throat> because at Tabari, in, in, the first, in the first page of his book, he said that what I narrated is not always authentic. It's to you to, to, to go and, and, uh, and uh, study if it's authentic or not. In other uh, books. All right. Okay. Let us see. <clears throat> I will show you a hadith about the muta. What you will say about it in Al Bukhari? All right, read with me uh, carefully, please. Mm -hmm. This is Sahir Bukhari. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. What do you understand from this? Can you show me the Arabic one? Okay. Here we go. Just move this screen. I didn't see it. What? Move, move this screen. Move what? Okay, okay. This screen, this screen to, to see the yeah. Arabic one. Okay. <laughs> so? Are you proud about your prophet allowing you to do muta? Are you proud that your prophet is allowing you to have sex with women to pay them money? What the difference between this and your prophet saying, "Go, let us attack the women, the Romans, so we can get the blonde girls"? Isn't it the same? Your sister, your mother, your daughter are allowed to get paid for sex. She go in the elevator. Somebody he see her. He offer her two dollars. She take off her panty. What do you say? Let me read it. All this time you took you read it? But it's, uh, uh, it's condition is illegal. It's illegal by who?
What is what is your point in this hadith? Are you saying Prophet say it is allowed? So, uh, my friend, did your Prophet allow you to do muta? Yes or no? No. No. Are you sure? No. Okay, mm. guys. Did you hear him saying no? Did you hear him saying no? Let us get him busted. Sure. Oh, no, no, no. You, you, you said sure. you are sure. You said you are sure. You said no. Everybody heard you a second ago. <laughs> Here we go. Read with me. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih al Bukhari, the one you like and you love very much. While we were in the army, Allah Messenger came and to, uh, to us and said, You have been allowed to do muta, so do it. Do you see it? You see, this is this is in in the, the time of the battle. I don't care. I don't care. You Muslim, you Muslim, you Muslims, you allowed? No, no, uh, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me. A second ago, you liar. A second ago, you said to me, no. Everybody heard you. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, only. Okay, hold. Okay, 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 okay. So, are you saying in the time of the uh, in the time of a war, you can go to a Muslim woman and you ask her to take off her panty for two hours to sleep with her? Is that allowed for you? This is in the context of war. Doesn't matter. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If if a Muslim man, if if Muhammad Hijab do win a war now, and he saw your sister in the street, and he wanna do muta, he's horny, and he said to her, "I will give you five dollars to sleep with you." Is that okay for you? Who 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 told you that the sister and the and and the uh, and the woman are in the battle? What? This is which one, the man? What? I in don't... the battle. What? What he says here, it is allowed. It is allowed only in the battle, my friend. What so battle? You can, you can, you okay, can, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, if I show you that this is not only in the battle, what you would do? Show me, show me. No, no, no. I, you, know, you see, you show me, show me. A second ago, you said no. Each time I show you, we can jump in from place to place. But I, you, you don't answer me. You, if a man, let us you, let us finish one. Let us finish one by one. Let us finish one by one. Let us finish one by one. I, okay, let us finish one by one. If, if a man, he is a Muslim. He is horny. He saw your sister, and he said to her, "I want to sleep with you." He is in the battle. He's a fighter. He's ISIS. Is it okay for you to practice the muta? This is in the button and okay, has, uh, okay, okay. Let me get you, but he will not answer. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you, what is the limit of the muta without battle, not in the war, during the normal life? How how many days the maximum you can have a woman for muta? It depends, it is an, it's an agreement between you and the, the woman that you will marry. Okay, you are the one who said to me, You are a liar again. You are a liar. It's three days, three nights. Let me show you. It's you are a liar. You are a liar. No, according to your prophet, it's three days, three nights. Read with me carefully. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Read with me. Stop lying. Allah Apostle said if a man and a woman agree to have muta, temporarily sexual relationship, their marriage should be last for three nights. Do you see it? Sure. Where is the hadith? It's in the front of you. And if they like to continue, you didn't uh, finish the habit. No problem. They can do so. Yeah, Why but they, this Why? is about Why? renewing. No, no, this is about renewing. So the the, the muta is a three days. No, no, no. And it's anyway, anyway, listen, listen. Let us say, let us say it's for. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So this is not about war now. It's about muta. It's about muta. This is not about war. This is not about war. So what is your answer for your prophet? Who is seducing men, so, saying to them, "You can hire a woman for sex"? What, what kind? What kind of a prophet he is? You see, show me the word "muta" here. He said, "Marriage, my friend." He, he didn't talk about Abdul. Muta. Are you a donkey or what? Are you a donkey or what? It's here. You are donkey, my friend. Muta yeah, muta. yeah, yeah, my, my friend. Listen, listen. This is about muta. Here, even the Muslim in translation, they are saying to you, "It is muta." Do you see the word "muta"? This is your Muslim translation. Stop being a liar. 
She's embarrassed, my friend. Guys, does it say muta? No, no, the word is even the hadith because never mentioned the word marriage. The, the hadith in Arabic, the hadith in Arabic did not mention the word marriage. It is about muta. Any two of you, any two of you, you know, okay, you tell me, you tell me, okay, okay, let us say it's marriage. What kind of marriage if you like to be together for three days only? Explain to us. No, no, you see, it's not just three days. Get lost, donkey. I have no patience for donkeys. That's it. <clears throat> You've been served and you got busted. This is your translation, and in Arabic it's so clear. And even if you want to say to me the word marriage is not there, you idiot. It says any man and women they want to stay together three nights. Explain to us. They will stay, they will stay doing what? <laughs> three days or three nights, they will do what exactly? Explain to us. Only they say you can so it's a marriage three days and three nights it's a marriage three days and three nights is a marriage he said you can continue you can continue what you can continue what you can why he said three days and three nights okay are you saying are you saying in islam are you saying islam i can try your sister for three days three nights if i like to continue i will continue is that what you're saying is that a try is that a try is that a try is that a try marriage is that a try marriage what is it? what kind of marriage why he's saying three days three nights and if you like to continue you continue what he's talking about he is talking about marriage because what kind of marriage what kind of marriage what what kind of marriage shut up what kind of marriage is it three days three nights and if you like to continue you continue explain to us okay, okay. define me what is a marriage it's just a temporary the marriage get lost Even in your Islamic translation, you donkey, it says muta. This is your Muslim website. This is sunnah.com. So look what they do. Look at the strategy of the Muslim. This is why we want the Muslims to call us. So you see, guys, you Christian, how the Muslim they try to fabricate. Show me Sahih Hadith, strong Hadith. Anything you show them, it's weak, without even proof. However, even the weak, by the way, is accepted. Number two, I accept only from Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Y yeah. Uh, 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 are you sure? Yeah. And now we show them. Why you don't have a problem with Muhammad allowing you to do muta, allowing your sister to take off her panty and get, I don't want to use a bad word, for money, and you are saying, I am a person who don't accept the hadith about Muhammad seducing us with women. Why you are calling me Abdul? I want to discuss. Why you discuss. Why you are, why you are calling me? No, why you are calling me? You, you are the, you are dishonest. The the word in the front of us. This is translated by Muslim. It says muta. Why you are liar? Yes, much, okay. Much, so this is muta. You, but you said this is not muta. You said this is not muta. Why you are lying? The meaning of the marriage. My friend, aren't you the one who said this is not muta? Why you are lying? You see, I see this is mucha, but it, it's not just three nights, it is continue as much as you want with your thank you very much. Your, your so life. you admit that you're a prophet, he allow your sister to get sex for money. A marriage, you see, a mucha in a marriage, it's an agreement, it's not just agreement of what this is what mutta I mean, translate for us. What the what the word mutta I mean, translate for us. Mucha. Yeah, what would I mean in English? Tell us. I want to learn from you. Can can have many meanings. Oh no, no. Tell me what this muta. What this muta? Don't don't tell me many 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 many. Tell me what this muta mean here. Sexual pleasure. Sexual. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure. Is that correct? Sexual pleasure. Is that correct? It's not only. Don't tell me not only it is sexual pleasure. Don't don't tell me only, my friend. Listen, in the muta, let me teach you. In the muta, a woman she cannot inherit her husband. Is that correct? The muta, if if he continues, he become a marriage. Uh, hold on, I'm talking about the muta. Just don't tell me. Just wait. Just wait. Let us finish it. In the muta, there is no divorce. Is that correct? There is a divorce because we see, when you finish the, the 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 relationship between you and your wife, there is no relationship. This That's false. Divorce. That's false. When the time is up, the contract is up. Is that correct? When the time is up, when the time is up, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So there's no divorce. 
You don't need to say I, I divorce you, correct? You do not need to say I divorce you. Is that correct? Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, I, I'm losing my patience with you. you. Do you have to say you are divorced or divorce happen automatically when the time is up? The divorce is when the time is up. Because Thank you very much. Okay, hold on, guys. The divorce, like the divorce is when the time is up. So you do not need to say it. Why you do not need to say it? Because she is not your wife. Because you have a contract of sex. Like the marriage, you, you have no. The marriage, there's no time. No, this is a lie. The marriage, there's no time. A marriage, you do, you don't divorce your wife automatically. You don't divorce her before you marry her. You don't say to her, you are divorced in the day. Like I marry you today, Saturday, and you are divorced by Monday morning. There's no, no, there's no such a marriage like this. Here in this, in this, what you call marriage, it's not a marriage. Hold on, hold on, stop lying. In this, in this contract, it's a sex contract. So it's a contract for three days. When the days are up, everything is up. That's it. There's no divorce. There's no inheritance. There's no marriage. There's no. You don't. She didn't. Didn't inherit her husband. He is not even considered as a husband. He is just a boyfriend to sleep with her, but he pay her. She is a hooker. You Muslim, you accept that Muhammad he made your women hookers. Okay, but the, wait, the hadith say the okay. Munja marriage. Did he say has okay? Guys, did he say okay? <laughs> where he said where he, where he said marriage. What marriage? There's no marriage there. He did not even use the word marriage. What is the, the word marriage? The mucha is the last, last, last my friend. Sentence. You see, you see, let, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Your prophet, he don't even respect you. Here we go. The hate in the front of an Arabic. Do you see the word marriage? Do you see the word marriage in the hadith? There's no marriage. Move, move this thing. I don't see it. It's in there. You will see it. Do you see the word marriage there? The Muslim translation is false in English. There's no marriage. Oh, what your prophet saying any man and women they want to f each other they can f each other for three days Ishra, Ishra, sleep together f each other Ishra, Ishra, Ishra is to f each other okay any man and women they can f each other for three days where is the word marriage it's not there my friend i don't lie the word marriage is not there Ishra is to have the actual sex to live together. This is what Ishra means. Stop lying. So you know, Prophet saying, any man, any man, any woman, they want to if each other for three days, three nights, feel free. And if you like to increase, increase. This is religion of God. This is my friend. This this is a solution, my friend. To what solution? Solution is a sleeping together, God. guys. This is a solution. This is a solution. I, solution for what? Solution for what? Explain to us. Solution for what? For the man and the woman that uh, haven't the, the possibility uh, or... Uh, okay, so a man... So you're saying this is a solution. If somebody is horny... Okay, thank you. So if somebody is horny, he can go and ask any woman to sleep with her. I mean, do, do I need God to teach me this? Animals, they do that. What kind of God, he says. So what marriage for? What kind of God he says, if any of you is horny, you can hire any woman for three days, three nights to sleep with her. You see, the woman, if I, if the woman accept, what is the problem? See, guys, did you hear this? If the women accept, what is the problem? Did you hear it? If the women accept, what is the problem? Well, that mean the Muslim woman is a whore. That means you are a whore no, too. Because if you ask a woman, listen, listen. If you ask a woman to sleep with you, let me ask you, do, do you have to pay? Listen, do you have to pay this woman? Yes or no? Show me where he said this. Do you have to pay this woman or no? Did this hadith say something? I am I am asking you a question about as long you claim that you know. Do you have to pay this woman? Yes or no? Abdul, 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 I'm asking you in the case of Muta, do you have to pay her? Yes or no? I don't know. Show me the hadith. I need to discuss it. Okay, if I show you that you have to pay her, what you will say? Are you going to say this is filthy? There is no there is no problem because they are in agreement with her. Because you, your, your wife also in the marriage, you pay her. Abdul, you pay her for three days and she go. Do you know that or not? No, I do not do know, that. know that. No, no I do not know that. This is wife. this is not the worry. This is not the worry. The worry is something you pay so they can go and they, she buy her clothes, she buy etc. She have expenses. 
this is not about buying her abdul abdul listen listen this is not it's not even about marriage this is a woman she will sleep with you only for three days so why she is taking off her panty because you are going to pay her because because you are going to pay her hold on now you say let, let me show you if I go to a woman if I go to a woman and I give her let us say a Gucci uh, coat is it okay for the woman to take off her panty for me according to Islam in return of my Gucci coat sure. don't tell me show me I'm asking sure. you you are the Muslim I'm sure I'm asking you if a, if a, if a man he go to a Muslim woman her name is Fatima and he said take off your panty I will buy you uh, uh, some nice clothes from Victoria's Secret if you do that is that lawful in Islam what can you repeat if a man he see a woman she is a Muslim and he said to her if yeah. you take off your panty let me sleep with you I will buy you some nice clothes from Victoria's Secret is that okay in Islam I don't know show me the hadith I don't, don't know tell me I don't know what's wrong with you each time I saw you something you say I do not know suddenly you suddenly Muslim do not know the guy before you, he never heard of. No, uh, just, uh, okay, hold on. Show okay. me. Show me. Show me. Okay, show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. I will spend the day show showing you. Hadith. Here I we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Read it. Read it. This is Sahih Bukhari, and this is Sahih Muslim. Does it say here? What that, he said, the book of marriage. The what? The book of the marriage, book yeah. Of this marriage. is marriage? The book of marriage, yeah. <laughs> it has nothing to do Abdu with Abdul, read with me. It says it clearly it is muta. Stop lying. People are laughing at you. Read. I just read. 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 It says, it says, it says. Then he granted us permission that we should contract a temporary marriage. Muta. How you do it in exchange even of a clothing in exchange of a garment you see it exchange exchange of what on garment here we go this is the Arabic So you're a prophet is seducing men to join him allowed him to do anything they want they want to have sex with women without marriage no problem hire a woman give her give her a coat give her a dress give her some money she take off her panty and she's lawful for you she's like a wife now halal halal prostitution halal in islam so why you are muslim saying to me that the hadith about muhammad he seduced men to attack the romans so he can get the blonde girls is not accurate Look at your prophet. Where is the word muta in Arabic? He said nankih. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Nankih, it means to F. The word nankih. The word nankih means to F. To F. To F a woman. And nankah al mar'a bil thawb. Bil thawb. And nankah. Nankah. It's to marry her. It's not muta. Okay, do you want me to get you busted? That nankah does not mean to marry. Show me. It can be. Are you sure? Do you want to show you? What is the word of in Arabic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the word nankah? Is hold on, don't change it. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the word nukah mean marriage or to mean to f somebody? Marriage. Show, prove to me that nikah is mucha. Abdul, I will prove to you. For, uh, first of all, first of all, first of all, the word nikah, the word nikah does not mean muta. The word nikah means to f somebody. Read with me carefully. This is your Islamic website. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The word nikah, the mean of the word nikah. Read with me carefully, guys. Do you see it? Is the is the is the this is the Islamic website? Here we go. Let me show you. Alislam.org. Alislam.org. What is the mean of the word nikah? Let us see. The Muslims is telling us the truth. Read carefully and, lo and, and laugh with me. In Islam, hold on, on, hold on. In Islam, marriage is not Why restricted. Not? Oh, hold on, hold on. And then he says, he said, hold on, okay. The Islamic term for marriage is nikah. Nikah literally means sexual intercourse. Do you see it?
Does it say that or I'm lying? So in Islam, you don't have marriage. You have the F word. When you say to a woman, I want to, you don't say I want to marry you. I say I want to F you. You see how you're lying. What, what did you say? The Islamic term for marriage is nikah. Say nikah. So nikah. Marriage is nikah. Okay. Marriage is nikah. What is nikah? Literally, <laughs> read, 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 read what after. Read after. What is and, and what is nikah? And what is nikah? What what do you do in marriage? Do you do no 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 hold on hold on no he said to you what the word nikah means he is saying to us hold on don't be stupid he is saying to us he is telling give us a hold on he is telling us what the Muslims what they do hold on shut up man you just get lost get lost don't call me again he is saying literally means sexual intercourse so for you a Muslim when you say I want to do f you you don't say I want to marry you you say I want to f you don't call me, don't call me. That's it. Go, get lost. I'm not going to scream at it tomorrow. It says it clearly that when a Muslim, he don't he don't get married. He say to a woman, I want to F you. Nikah. How ugly, how disgusting, how savage. We have a word in Arabic. It's called zawaj. This is marriage. Why you don't say I want to marry you? Well, instead, what you say? I want to do nikah to you. And this is what the hadith is saying. I want to do nikah. Anyone want to do nikah, as we see here in front of us? In Arabic, it says, Anyone want to do nikah? Don't call me Abdul. I'm done with you. Not for today. Come to call me tomorrow. He allowed us to do nikah, not marriage. And the word nikah means sexual intercourse, literally. This is how savage Muhammad is. And here what we learn, why you are calling me? Why you are calling me again? Allah in the Quran, he say, Thank you very much, guys. Hold Allah on. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let, let me let me ask you, let me ask you, let me let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. According to you, Muslims, Shaitan he did nikah to himself. Did Shaitan do nikah to himself? Yes or no? What is this about the topic? We are trying to find out what the meaning. Did Shaitan did nikah to himself? Yes or no? Answer me about the verse in the Quran. And hold on, don't change the topic. We are talking about the word nikah now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did the Quran? Did the, Quran, did the Quran teach you that Shaitan he had? Did, did the Quran teach you that Shaitan has sex? Abdul, either you will answer or I will hang up on you. Is it true that Shaitan, according to you Muslims, according to you Muslims, Shaitan he f himself, did nikah to himself? Yes or no? He can be. I don't know. It can be. So what? What the word do you use? What? 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 You, what the word do you use when you say Shaitan he did have sex with himself? Because this, what the word? What the word do you use? Do you use? Do you use the word? Hold on. Do you use the word nikah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So how Shaitan yes. marry himself? Shaitan marry himself? If the word nikah mean marriage, Shaitan when he did nikah to himself, he marry himself? Do, do, do you know how uh, how how uh, you say you say and how how it, 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 it have sex with any any. Anyone else? No, no, this is you not about this is not uh, this is not uh, this is not compare Satan with the human. Abdul, cannot, Abdul. We, don't, we don't see him. This is not about Shaitan having sex with someone else. This is I'm talking about Shaitan having sex with himself. We don't we don't see this Satan. So how you can understand my friend, the world of Satan? My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. The question is very simple. I'm asking you how Shaitan he have sex with himself. Do you know how Satan is talks? I am asking you when you say Shaitan he had sex with himself. What do you, what is the word you use? Nikah. Nikah. Thank you very much. So guys, Shaitan is effing himself. This is marriage now. So did he marry himself? But we don't understand. Okay, no, explain to me. Here we go. I'm listening to you. As long as you admit that Shaitan he do nikah to himself. Okay. Did Shaitan marry himself or he eff himself? 
مثلا if i want to explain something i need to see it i see the human i know how how they have sex but satan and the world of satan i don't know how he did it my so friend okay okay shall we like shall we go see. shall we go and see how he get his babies should we go is that okay go okay let us see go okay look like we will keep jumping from place to place all day long but no problem that's, no, because that's, that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine it's okay it's okay it's okay this is this is the official this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia look with me i'm going to show you in the screen go all right all right here we go this is the chapter 18 verse number 50 and this is the interpretation of al qurtubi Read with me carefully. It says, "In the Iblis, I entered the fire of his fire in his own body, and he had five bodies. So this is the essence of his body." And then he says, "وَقِيلَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى خَلَقَ لَهُ فِي فَخْذِهِ الْيُمْنَ ذَكَرًا وَفِي الْيُسْرَى فَرْجًا فَهُوَ يَنْكَحُ هَذَا بِهَذَا." Let us explain. Allah and said that Allah He created for him the Shaitan, a penis in the right side of his leg. And a vagina in the left leg, so he, if this with that he do nukah, do you see it? Hold on, and then he lay down ten eggs every day, and from every egg there is seventy, there is seventy shaitan and shaitan and they come out and they fly right away when they come out. So now, shaitan he have a penis in the yes, right leg. The problem, with this? the problem is you said to me nikah does not mean sex; it means marriage. Now shaitan is doing nikah by effing himself. He have a penis, he have a vagina in the same time. He shake his legs, so he enter his penis inside, inside his vagina, and this is how he eff himself. Do you see the word nikah there? Again, you see, when you use nikah, it's not, you cannot compare Satan with the human. My friend, you want to my friend, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It says that he have a penis, he have a penis, he have a penis. Allah, he created for him in the right side of his leg a penis and in his left leg a vagina so he if that do you see it so no okay so what the so what the word there is nika, nika, okay nika. what nikah is okay, here okay. what nika? I, am with you. I am agree with you hmm. Nika in Arabic can mean it means having sex with someone, mm. and it also means marriage. I don't have problem with this. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't, I so now we go nikah. back. So now we 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 made you admit. We made you admit that the word nikah does not mean marriage. It means to the effort. It's used. Okay. It's you uh, nikah. It's used to marriage, and it is used to have relationship because my proof it's in in the Quran because Allah says. Okay, let me ask you. He said, he said, Let me show you that this is not about marriage. Let me get you busted. Are you are you ready? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get you busted, Abdul. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted, my friend. I am here to get the Muslim Abdul busted day and night. No problem. You are the one who choose that verse for me. How many Show women? How way. how many women you are allowed to do nikah to in Islam? You can marry one, two, three, four, and only one if you can't have just all right. To this, but uh, to this but world. but the verse, so, but if hold on, but the verse you quote for me, it doesn't say you can marry two and three and four because it says you can have six, do nikah to the slave. So if this is about marriage, if this is about marriage, why here it says, Nikah cannot be marriage now because it says you have maximum of four women in the bed and then in the top of that, whatever you wish to do nikah to those who they are slaves, correct? No, my friend. Show me uh, the. Uh, what do you mean, the no, my friend? Of this verse. What do you mean, no, my friend? Show chapter, chapter four, verse number three. What's wrong with you? Are nikah, you? Okay, show me. Okay, the okay. The, 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 are you allowed in Islam to do nikah to all the slaves you have? Yes or no? Show me the interpretation of this verse. Let's discuss it. Okay, let us show you. What interpretation you like, my friend? Anyone you want. All right. 
thank you now i like i like you to tell me which one you want because customers come first here anyone you want again All right. not a problem anyone okay no wants. no problem okay let's go here <clears throat> All right. Or All right. Read with me carefully. It says you have the right to do yes. nikah to all the slaves girls you have. I didn't say it. So what you must understand from this that nikah mean you can have up to four wives, right? But yes. but they, they, are, they are wives, yes. But you do nikah to them. You don't marry them, really. You do nikah, and then, and the nikah will be done not only for the wife, the four wives, to all the slaves you have. Read it. This is the proof that the word nikah never meant marriage. But you try to make it look in English like we are marrying. But the fact it is nikah, it is the f. It says to you, you can f two and the three and four together. Plus all the slave girls you own. There's no what limit. He say? There's when, no. There, when you marry them, when you marry them, marry who? Did they say this? Or marry who? No? Marry who? This the sentence. My friend, this is your Muslim when translation. You, you try to make the word. Trash. You know, we 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 we. You Abdul, see. Abdul, Abdul. In your Muslim translation, you, you try to fool yourself. You try to fool us. Says, okay, we are marrying, but the Quran says you do nikah, no, and no. we and we get you busted no, with no, the word no, nikah already. No, that the word nikah, the word nikah means to do if them. Now listen, listen. Is the word nikah? Hold on, hold on. Is the word nikah used for the slaves and the four in the same time? Yes or no? What? You are slow. Read with me. Does the word nikah go for both? The four women you are going to sleep with, Matna, Watharat, Waraba, two and three and four, and in the top of that, whatever you own in your right hand possess. It says, it says, it says, Abdul, listen, don't, don't, just, just go. For, for the sake of Allah, balls, leave me, you know, go. Stupidity. It says a slave in the front of you. Are you a donkey or what? And whatever you own of your right hand process, whatever the slaves you own, all of them. What is the word you use? Is nukah? Do you do nukah to the slave? Yes. But do you marry her? No. Don't call me again. I'm done with you. Let us change the translator, change the, the interpretation so people will laugh. This is Ibn Abbas. Do you see it? Or that your right hand process captive what do you do with them you sleep with them so the word nikah is not about marrying is about sleeping you sleep you are you are it's lawful for you to sleep with two and a three and four and whatever you own as your slaves and look here what they're saying this is a providing sustenance that only you can have sex with four women who they are free so you can have sex only with the free women who they are four maximum. Do you see it, guys? Only free women. Or you have sex with all the slave women you have. That is Islam. Even the word marriage is not there. Go and F women. Go and do muta. And they speak that Islam teach dignity and teach ethic. What kind of a prophet he teach you? You see, what, while Musa was stoning people to death for adultery, your prophet was allowing women and men to sleep together three days, three nights. Three days, three nights for fun. And if you wish to go more, go more. Right? If you wish to go more, my friend, okay, go more. What, what a big deal. No problem with Muhammad. Muhammad, he never have a problem. He's open-minded. Three days, three days, three night, three night. Have fun. When the days are up, your contract is up. You hire, you hire a prostitute. You say to her, how much you will charge me for tonight? Oh, I will charge you, uh, you know, if she is a Muslim, she will be cheap, like for five dollars. Five dollars. 
You say what five dollars yesterday? I got a Muslim better than you for three dollars You negotiate and then when you reach an agreement And by the way, you have to pay her money Otherwise, it's haram. Look, look how, how much decent is religion. You have to make an agreement and discuss how much money there's conditions in this muta. You have to set up the date, which means you have to confirm for how long. You cannot just say we do without without saying a date. So you have to agree for how many hours, how many days, and then you have to agree for how much money. And then if you agree both about the money and the date, that's it, she is lawful for you. Well, isn't it? This is adultery. This is what prostitutes, gay galo, they do, or jay galo. How much? For how long? What do you do? What I will get in return? Prostitution. That is Islam. And you are telling me that Islam have a dignity, and Islam is a religion. If this is religion, what is devil? If this is religion, what is Las Vegas? If this is Allah, what is pimp? Hello? Good evening, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you doing? I'm okay. Just about the nikah, I'd like to say a nikah, uh, meaning uh, two, two meanings have. Hmm. Nikah, yani al wata. What, what al wata mean? Explain. To yeah, F. what uh, to as F. you to F. you explain mm, to F. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, you can read the uh, fatwa in the uh, now mm. in the Google. Ma hakum nikah aliyat. The Sheikh explained. Nikah aliyat be to F your hand. Not... Yeah, to F your hand. Okay. Yeah, but uh, just I would I'd like to say to this Muslim who try to. To prove that uh, nikah and not uh, uh, only uh, Mary, Mary, that's not true. My friend, the Muslim today they are using it as they say uh, marriage, but but in fact it never been as a marriage because now they used to it. You know, it's in their religion what they can do. A man he come, you know, I know a story of a guy he came to a man he said to him I want to do nikah to your daughter. They kick him out. They beat it, beat him. Go right yeah. now to any Islamic chat and say, I want to do nikah, and you will see what they will say to you. They will curse you. Yes, because you right away, I... right away, they will understand it that you are saying, I want to if you. I want, yeah. I challenge any Muslim to show me where he accept a man to come to his house to, to, to ask for the, the hand of his daughter and say, I want to do nikah to your daughter. They don't use it. Because it's... why you don't use the word marriage? We have a word marriage in, in Arabic. Why the Arab don't use the word nikah if the word marriage is, is nikah, correct? We are Arab and we are Christians. Why you will not find one Christian saying the word nikah? Did you ask yourself? Guys, are you getting my point? We, yes, are, we, are, we are Arab. We are Arab. Arabic is our language. Actually, we are the one who taught the Muslims Arabic. All, all the huge, big poetry, the amazing poetry is written by five Arabian Christians. The biggest, the biggest accomplishment in Arabic language is written by Arab Christians. Yeah, why we don't use, why we don't use the word nikah? If the word nikah means marriage, this nikah is with uh, Malik Mel Yamin. Uh, it's not marriage. Uh, you explain. Yeah, Malik Yamin is is a, is a, is a right hand possess. So so it says do and nikah to to two and three and four and whatever you own or your right hand possess. So it cannot be marriage because you are not going to marry the slave. You are continuing doing nikah. He used one yeah. word. He didn't say do nikah to two and three and four and then sleep with the slave. No, it says do nikah to this and this and this and the slaves, but the slaves are not wives. Yes, you're right. Yeah. The, the, in Islam, there is no uh, marriage with, uh, say, as, uh, slaves. Just uh, nikah. No, you can marry. You can marry. You can marry from a slave, but you don't have to. You can. You can have secular or without marriage. You know. But anyway, but this is what the word mean. This is what the word mean. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Anything else? No, thank All you. Right. All right. Yeah, and this is another issue, by the way. You will see some people saying to me in Wakabidia and etc. It says this: if you want to go by Wakabidia, Wakabidia in Wakabidia, Islam means peace. Good luck with Wakabidia.
If you want to learn from Wokabidia, don't listen to me then. Wokabidia. Actually, a guy he said to me in, in in Facebook, he said to me, "So if Islam is false, why why Wokabidia says the Prophet was saying the truth?" <laughs> what? Wokabidia, nice to meet you. I know, I know. Why you are calling me again, Muhammad? What? Why you are calling Muhammad again? Why? Do you want to know what is the meaning? Nikah, go to Arabic dictionary. No, and let us know what is the. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I prove it to you. I prove it to you. Your prophet is teaching you to do nikah to three days, three nights, right? Yes. Listen, listen. Is is this one? Is this one three days? Is this one? Is this one three days and three nights? Is it nikah for you? Yes or no? Go to Arabic. I'm asking you, is this is this three nikah. three days and three nights? Is it nikah? Yes or no? This is not Is that nikah? Arabic. Yes or no? You just get lost. Okay, see you're stubborn. This is in front of you. If this is nikah, we got what nikah is about. If this is nikah, any man and woman they agree to do what? You tell me to do what? What they would do? They would do nikah. What is nikah here? Marriage? Three days, three nights. Have fun. Imagine, guys, Musa saying, any one of you can have sex for three days, three nights for fun. And if you like to increase, increase. What? Yes. Why you don't want to go to Arabic dictionary? I showed you, I showed you from the Arabic dictionary. Isn't it that website? Is your Muslim website? It says that nikah mean F word. Okay, listen, 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 listen. The, the Arabic dictionary is written by who? By by this uh, by uh, the scholars of language. Okay, let let me let me ask you. As long you are a person who speak of Arabic dictionary, I want to I want to see I want to show the people your hypocrisy. You're a prophet, he said, that a man, a woman, no, hold on, hold on. I want to show you, I want to show you how in, how in a second you will regret the Arabic. Hold on. I want to show everybody that you are that you are a liar and you will not like the dictionary. I want you to say, I accept the dictionary, whatever it says. You see, it changed the topic. You I'm see. not changing the topic. I'm, I am asking you, I'm asking you, in front, I am asking you in front of everybody to give me a promise. I am asking you to give me a promise. That whatever dictionary says you accept, say yes. Yes, go. Okay. Show me what is nikah in dictionary. Okay, hold on. When you do nikah with a woman, did your prophet say you have to taste her juice? Go to Arabic dictionary. I am going to dictionary. I'm going to dictionary. Here we go. Let us see. Your prophet he allow you to have a woman. To sleep with to do nikah to her and in order to make this nikah lawful so she can go back to her husband she have to test your juice and you have to test her juice what is that in the dictionary the juice is that the sperm what what is the word you have to taste you have to taste her juice and she have to taste her juice what is the Show juice? The Arabic, uh, asila to her. Asila. What does Asila mean? What what it means? I'm asking you. We will see in a second. We will go to the dictionary and we will see what nikah means in the dictionary and what asila means in the dictionary. Now, do you agree? No, do, no. do you agree with me that asila means to drink the sperm of your man? I don't know. Go to the. Uh, don't tell me I don't know. Uh, How come you are sure? I don't. Does it say? Does it say? Okay. Okay. Let me ask you. Arabic hold on. Hold on. You you speak Arabic. When you're a prophet, he said that a woman she is divorced. She is divorced three times. She she have to marry a new man, and she have to test his orgasm, and he have to test her orgasm. I'm I'm giving you a true translation, or I'm lying. But show me the Arabic dictionary about this word. 
we will show you I'm asking you you see here in the translation guys look at it says unless the second husband consummate his marriage it doesn't say that in Arabic in Arabic it says until she tastes his his juice and he tastes her juice explain to me because this is a connection with the other verse what is tasting the juice mean I'm listening what juice we are talking about you know, you see something when the 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 the, the, the experts in the translation when they want to translate some words in Arabic, mm. he just he, he didn't just translate it. He 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 must need. Uh, he okay, must you translate for me. Forget about them. What is asira to hamin? What asira to hamin? Here in this translation, it says until he has tested her sweetness. What does that mean? Asila. What asila mean? It says hatta yazuku asila tuha. Or say to her what he meant what what is the juice you know, know. What, what do you mean you do not know I don't know this word okay in Arabic, I will give you, you know I will give you five Arabic I will give you five minutes I will give you five minutes to come back to me is that okay go no go to Arabic uh, dictionary and okay know okay let me let me let me let me say let me say if I say if I okay okay if I say this is the your prophet is teaching the men and women to to drink the orgasm of each other do you agree So what is the problem what is the problem the women she don't want the man yes. you're a prophet is forcing the women to taste the orgasm well, of a new uh, hey, hold on said, hold on hold on this is about what see, this is about, hold on you know. hold on you told me what the problem let me explain to you otherwise I will hang up on you and I'll block you don't stop don't stop being stupid you ask me what is the problem let me show you hold on hold on shut up shut up shut up shut up let me let me explain what, because you are a donkey, you ask me what the problem, and you don't let me to talk. You see, you see. The, let this, me explain to you what is the problem. The this woman, she is donkey. divorced. She, yes. This woman, she is divorced three times from her husband. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now she have to marry a new husband, and she have to test his orgasm in order to go back to the previous husband. Is that correct? Yes. What okay. Thank you, guys. Guys, did you did you hear this? What kind of religion you order a woman to go and sleep and f another a new man so she can and drink his orgasm so she can go to the previous husband? This is the agreement between the man and the woman. No, it's your prophet who is forcing us to do that. This is not an agreement. It's your prophet saying you have to taste his juice. She have to taste your juice. It is not an. It is not. It is not an agreement. It's your prophet forcing the women to do that. Did he say forces? It says you cannot. Here we go. It says unless you cannot until she tastes his juice and he tastes her juice. What kind of a prophet? I don't, I don't. What kind of a prophet? He you teach see, such a teaching. You see, this is the moral. The moral are subjective. What moral? What moral? This is moral. This is moral that your wife now, if you divorce your wife, if you divorce your wife, we send your wife to Muhammad Hijab, and she suck his orgasm so she can get back to you. My friend, this is bad for you, but it's, it's the moral. It's, it's bad for me. It's good for you. You mean it's bad for me? It's bad for me. It's perfect for you. Are you saying that? It depends on the people. It there is the the morals are subjective, my friend. What moral is subjected? Subjected? No, it's not subjected. What kind of moral you say it's to a woman? You say to a woman, a woman she wanna go back to her husband. She have a children from him. You say to her, you have to go and oh, sleep you, with a new man. Woman, hold on, hold on, hold because on. Because the woman she like it. She like it. Oh, she like it. His wife, she like it. No, she don't like it. Okay, let me get you busted. You said the women she like it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said the women she like it. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. You said the women she like it, right? He is accusing women they like to suck the sperm of men. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Here we go. You're a prophet. Here we go. Listen, you're a prophet. Here is a story. A man he did beat his wife, and I will show. Hold on. We are showing you. Europe, oh, shut, like, shut up. This is a story here. A man he was beating his wife because she don't want to suck his sperm. She don't want to take off his her panty for the husband. Why? Because Muhammad he forced her, in order to go to the previous husband, to go and marry a new man. She thought I can marry him, and then I will not let him sleep with me, and then I can go back to the husband. 
because Muhammad he created a very disgusting rule a woman she cannot go back to her husband unless she f and you husband and she suck his private part and she enjoy his juice so look what happened Muhammad he said to her at the end after the man beat her 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 and he made her skin greener than her clothes her skin is a greener look Aisha she said I never saw I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman look her skin is a greener than her clothes don't call me he did beat her to force her to sleep with him and the woman still she refused she went to Muhammad asking for help look what Muhammad he did he took the side of the man and even he gave the man an order that a man he gave him chapter 4 verse number 34 it says beat them whatever you wish as you wish read with me Allah messenger said the man he accused her she want to go back to her husband Rifa huh she want to go back to Rifa Allah messenger said to her if you if this is your intention then you know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abdul Rahman he tastes your juice you see the Muslim translation here false translation in Arabic it says until he tastes your juice and you taste his juice now what the word Asila this is the word Asila what Asila mean let us go to the dictionary you want you want to see the dictionary right okay let us love together Okay. Guys, do you see it? Do you see it? What I see, I mean, orgasm. <laughs> this is a prophet of God, and this is a religion. If you want to go back to your husband. It's unlawful for you unless he tests your orgasm and you test his orgasm. This is the wisdom of the high ethical prophet Muhammad.